I'm Nicole Bradshaw with Energy Communications. Since February, a small crew has been building a new transmission line from Clinton's Ray Braswell substation to Byron's new Windale substation. Crews are also replacing the wooden transmission poles on the existing Byron Terry line with 110 foot steel structures. We are, on, the, on this particular phase of it, we're coming across, we come across I-55 right here near the window exit and we're having to build our line double circuit down the existing right of way with the existing Byram to Terry 115 line. And in doing so, we're taking out all the old wood structures and implementing new steel. And the, uh, the whole job was constructed with steel, a mixture of steel and concrete structures. Your steel and your concrete are much more uh, reliable and, and not, uh, as, as opposed to wood, they're gonna last a lot longer, they're gonna hold up better. They, uh, they're not susceptible to insects or animals, birds, woodpeckers, such as that. The crews have built 180 structures as part of this job. Pulling off a project of this magnitude is heavy work. It's also a delicate interplay of people, machines, and electricity. Well, this project in particular, it's, uh, it's eliminating the, the risk of overloading on other lines in this area from Jackson all the way down to Brookhaven. And it also provides us with a source for future for any substations needed in the future in this area for better reliability for all the customers downstream from us here. The work will result in several improvements. Increased reliability south of Jackson, better conditions for development in Byron's Industrial Park, and more grid resilience. Big job, big benefits. This is Nicole Bradshaw with Energy Communications. Thanks for watching.